Eish, guys, 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 wow, look at that. This year, I hope to start my videos. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, guys. Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Another day, another blessing, and uh, man, 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 I am back again with another, another banger. Another banger. Hi, guys, my name is Only Mawera, and I come from Africa, Kenya. And today, guys, I'm coming live from Nanyuki, which is in Laikipia County. And, guys, as you can see, where I am, this place I've been calling it home for the last three days. Yeah, it has been three awesome, awesome three days. And today, everything that has a beginning has an end. But guys, I've really enjoyed myself here in this this beautiful space here. Yeah, this is where I've been having some fun. Like you saw me swimming in the evening, actually. This pool is all actually very warm. So in case you happen to find yourself here, you can always come and have some beautiful evening swim as you wish. As long as you wish, as long as you gonna be having occupying these spaces here. So these are it's called we're in a place called Lifestyle Villas. It's in Anyuki, and they are very very affordable. The spaces they have they have family spaces, and also as a as a small group, as an individual you can have a space. It's a space for everybody, and I'll show you their number so that in case you wanna contact them. Let me just show you something here, guys. Very simple, <sighs> guys. And when you wake up in the morning from lifestyle viewers, the first thing that you're gonna see in the morning is the beautiful Mount Kenya, the sunrise, and then in the evening, the sunset on that the, that side. So this is their number. This is their number. You can call them, and if you tell them Mawera sent you here, they're gonna give you a discount. So this is their number. So in case you are outside Kenya, the only thing that you're gonna, you're gonna add is plus two five four seven. Okay, plus two five four seven. 18490351 plus 254 7180351. But in case you're within East Africa, you can call this number. But in case you're outside uh, Kenya or East, uh, outside Africa, you're gonna add plus 2547. Don't put the zero, okay? Uh, at the same time, guys, I'm gonna be tagging them on Instagram so that I can be able to connect with them. So, guys, today is the last day. We are checking out to another place. Uh, as in, man, we left in Arumoro, the weather was so, so, so bad. But since we came to Nanyuki, the weather has been... Mwah. So yesterday we went to Alpajeta, today we are going somewhere else, as we're still checking out because we have so many places to be, guys. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, we have five be bedroom apartment here in this villa. On the other side, they have some bungalow. They have some... There's a bungalow up there. Like, it's a space for everybody. Okay. So guys, I'm gonna get an exclusive, exclusive access to show you what they have. Like it's a space for everybody, in case you are a group, you know, as an individual, as a family. And when you come here and maybe you don't, you feel like you're not in the mood of cooking, they can, ah, uh, you can always bring in a chef who's gonna take care of you. This is this is called, it's called Nanyuki, you know. Nanyuki has the best weather for tourists, for everybody. So Nanyuki is the second most visited place from Mombasa. Fun fact. Yeah, that's a fun fact I've told you. So when you come to Kenya, visit Lifestyle Villas. They're going to give the best, best, best offers. You know, best, best everything. Spaces, clean, security, the serene itself is awesome. Wow, oh, guys, check out. Check this one out, man. Very, very beautiful. This this house has how many rooms? Thirteen. It's, it's five, but they are all in suit. Five bedrooms. I I I once spent my night here. I remember. It was very, very awesome. Very spacious, guys. Look at the parking. You can have this as your own own compound. Imagine, you and your family, come and do some barbecue somewhere, play some table tennis there, chill and relax. We have a beautiful coach here. Very beautiful spaces, I'm telling you. And then they have also have the internet, I'm telling you. Look at that. The chandelier. Amazing. Big, big screen. Beautiful space. We have some dispenser. Beautiful painting. Okay. Then we also have some fireplace in case you want to feel the, some warmth. Sorted out the dining area, 
and the spacious, spacious kitchen like that has everything. Have the gas, I mean the gas there, the cooking, the cooker, the beautiful sink, toaster, microwave, fridge, like everything. It's a home away from home. Make your way to Nanyuki. Book with the lifestyle villas. Guys, it's not a paid promotion, but just when you like, let me show you one of the bedrooms so that you can understand what I'm talking about. It's not a paid promotion, it's just like the service that they offer deserves a free promotion. You see, they are all master in suit and very spacious. Clean bathroom. Someone was here actually. Let me check for a room that has been prepared. Check, look at this. King size bed. <laughs> or is it queen size? And then you come here. Hey. <laughs> you sleep. And wake up the next day feeling like a king or a queen, guys. That's your boy, only Mawera. So peace. Check out them. You can book with lifestyle viewers. Very beautiful and well organized. And the good thing about lifestyle viewers is always a room for negotiation for everybody. Like you can always come to a, an agreement when you want to check in with them. Beautiful, beautiful apartment. The curtains. Imagine you drawing the curtains in the morning and the first thing that you see is a beautiful Mount Kenya there. Very, very awesome. Guys, that's their rules. Check out, it's supposed to be 11. Man, best, best, best place to be when you come to Nanyoki. Let me switch off the lights. Yeah. Guys, I'm a regular customer here, so it's like I know, it's like I know <laughs> every detail about these homes. And I, I want to show you something else. They have, they have also an SQ. So when you come here, in case you're coming for a long holiday, you know, you decide to come for a long holiday, you can book with them for an entire month, an entire year. You also have some SQ there. That can also serve as another, like in case you come with your family, your entire family, they have the best, the SQ is there for you. And imagine all this compound for of you, even this one. Guys, okay, you see, they have an SQ, which is also a space that you can rent out, like in case you want, you, you come with your entire family. Hey, guys, look at that one. Where is the socket? that very very beautiful and the screen oh, oh. you sit here and watch only Mawera speaking talking to you you know hey very very spacious you have some sound bar there and the internet is there someone was here actually someone just checked out but they have this beautiful space here it's like a one bedroom, so someone just checked out. Someone was here and they checked out. So the, the cleaners are working, coming to prepare everything here. But it's a beautiful space, see? There's everything here. So guys, please check out with the lifestyle villas. You can also book this one as a one bedroom, I guess. Yeah. So it, it's not a, like you can also check, book them for this SQ. It's an awesome space, one BR, good price everything for you and in case you have a kid hey <laughs> you can do some barbecue here you can do some barbecue someone uh, i guess it was gintu who was here <laughs> gintu was here <laughs> okay you can also have some bicycle to ride not like everything one for you so guys please check in check out with the lifestyle villas they're gonna give you the best 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 services for your accommodation you don't have to get stressed and then this place is just quiet no noise no nothing just a quiet place and then from here to Nanyuki town is just like about five minutes drive only five minutes drive from here to Nanyuki town then you get your essentials then you come back and enjoy your stay so guys please i urge you it's not a paid promotion just a like we are giving back because they give us the best 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 accommodation when you are here so please check them out, plus 254-7-18-49-03-51, plus 
Contact them, WhatsApp them, tell them Mawera sent you here. Only Mawera sent you here. Yeah, guys, this is Nanyuki. You can see the cows are grazing. It's purely, purely, entirely green. They have some sheep. Mm -hmm. And the cow. You know, yesterday you saw. Hi. Do you fight? <laughs> hey! The cow is telling me I'm disturbing it and it is feeding, you know. <sighs> Guys, it is time to move. It's time to move to another destination. But this is the beautiful, beautiful lifestyle villa. Like you can come here and have your best, best stay. And then security is top notch. Security is top notch. You all know this company. Very good in security services. See a lot of families are here already. They're already here for the weekend stay. Then you have these beautiful flowers. Oh, the bird went away. Look at these beautiful flowers, man. Yeah. Very beautiful, I'm telling you. Santia. Guys, the house are fully. The house are the houses are full. People have already booked in. So you see like it's not something that you're just trying to do, something that is happening. And now my friends are here. So you wanna check out. And my cousin loves this flower actually. See Kiba is ready to move. <laughs> this is how Kiba moves actually. He has his bike, the Antarctica. See he has his stuff here. Fully, fully loaded. So my friends are here. Yo guys, are you ready to move? This is why not keep it. Yes. Sir. <laughs> are you still in, you, you don't wanna leave this place? I wanna finish my drink and then we can head out. <laughs> she doesn't wanna leave this place. Another person is there. Hey, let me, <laughs> guys, let let me burn, let me burn. This person here. If you want her to win her soul, just give Buy her her soul. Buy me soda. Buy me soda. So I don't want to go. <laughs> I don't want to go. I want to stay. Give some more money. <laughs> when you hear the word money, everything goes away. So guys, you've been staying here. Look at this. But you give them a, a room to a right? Yeah, I gave them. Guys, imagine we were walking. Right, first floor, stairs. Mm -hmm. You have been used to sleeping on the flat place. But now you're sleeping, you are going up. No? Beautiful beds. And these are the views that you can see on this side. Imagine, those are corn. And when I tell you that security is on top notch, top notch I mean, look at, we have CCTV there. We have the beautiful views from this side. See that mom there, she's planting. I can't tell her to sell me a piece of land. <laughs> but I know she can't sell me because people don't sell the land in these areas. They know the value of the land high now. Then we have these other places here. The beautiful views, guys. Wow. Oh, Look at those views, guys. And then water. Water is available 24-7, lights are available, like everything is available 24-7 here. So guys, I'm going to be ending this part on this side and say thank you for the love, thank you for the support. So see you on our next, next stop. Guys, I love you. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hey, what's up my people? Hey, you can see the weather, the place, the way it looks. It's a different setup. It's a very, very different setup. It's a very, very different setup, but uh, you know, we just moved from the other place to this place. You can see this place is very beautiful. The trees, actually, we are in a court, we are in cottages. They are called the cottages. And uh, so, uh, the plan of the day, we are going to try or to attempt if we can get to the peak of Mount Kenya, or even not. Even if not to a peak of mountain, because it's very expensive to climb 
up to the top of the mountain. It's very expensive. It goes about uh, $700 for you to get to the top of the mountain, according to the research that we did. So, but we want to go and attempt to get to the forest and, and at least have a, a feeling of being around Mount Kenya because it is in our country, it is in our county. You know, it's always good to attempt these things. Guys, I just noticed there is something here. <laughs> This is actually a real, a real buffalo head. This is a real buffalo head actually. How where did they get this one? Wow. It is a real, a real, a real one actually. I wonder how they got it. I wonder how they got it, man. So, uh, guys, this is where we are at the moment. And um, it's a beautiful space. It's more affordable than... It's, it's very affordable and they're beautiful cottages. So this is how it looks like. There's no mud. Actually, it rained. It rained, but... Uh, you can't notice that because the place is so fine, you know. Just beautiful. Yeah. And um Well, I don't know. I don't know what to say but uh I'm just grateful to God and uh, this place is coming to an end. Yeah. This is gonna be my last video in this place. Uh I'm not I'm not I'm not not gonna keep Lying to you guys, I'm still and you can no 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 no. This is gonna be my last video in this place. See they have some beautiful garden. Yeah, but you can come and swing. Very beautiful you can come and uh, have some drinks around this place. <laughs> if you have a family. No, you can come and do sing sing. Hey, this one takes me back when I was in lower primary school, man. Like we used to see, see in our school. And then we used to compete who is gonna go higher. <laughs> oh, okay. They have those things. Like, it's a, it's a nice place. The serene is very beautiful. Yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to get my friend. Because our, our lady friends, are, they are like, they are skeptical about going to hike, so Kibe and I are gonna be hiking. We're gonna be attempting. So Kibe and I, we're gonna be attempting to go and see what Mount Kenya has for us. So I uh, wish us all the best. <laughs> wish us good luck, Kibe and I. We see what you're gonna go and get from that place, man. At least. We we'll see if we can we we can manage to get some good videos, or uh, even the experience itself. Uh, this is, there is always that time, first attempt, you know. There is always that first attempt. Let's go and uh, attempt and see so that in the nearby future, if we, you know, in the nearby future, we will be ready and uh, we will be having an idea of what we are expecting. So we are sleeping in these cottages. We'll be spending our time in these cottages. It's my first time to spend actually in a cottage. Kipindi mimi na te 
kuseka Siku waona Mila Yesu Huku ni wacha Mila Yesu So now it won't be a forest in it This beautiful family here <laughs> my cousins. No. The ones Guys. that we saw on uh, all pedeta are these? No no no. No no no. no, no, no. These are not the little monkeys. These are monkeys. These are monkeys. Mm. Yes. Oh, yeah. No, this is not a monkey. These are baboon. Bam baboon. Oh baboon. The, the ones that oh we my saw. god, it's huge. I did not even yeah, send them. See, they, the baboons this have one. red. That one has a small baby. Baboons have oh. red uh, bugs. Yes. So <laughs> I was supposed to say a different word. Oh, it has a baby. <laughs> yes, it's oh, a baby. Wow. All right, that is it. So that guys, is it. Uh, I guess our adventure starts Adventure. from here now. Yeah. <laughs> Just yeah. given us some. Ah, yeah. you're yawning, Mister. Oh, madam, madam. Oh, wish we had some bananas. You know, you're not supposed oh, yeah. to feed them. That's what they say. Why? I don't know. Yes. Because you yes. may end up feeding yes. them something poisonous, you know. Yes. Guys, we're at Sirimon. Sirimon, heading to Sirimon National Park. And uh, then you have this, this particular point where we've met this baboon, but we're proceeding this way, so we can proceed. Which sound did they produce? <laughs> These are the ones that can snatch your phone, eh? Yeah. This way here, and now this way over here. Kenya Wildlife Service, Mount Kenya National Park, Mount Kenya World Heritage uh, Simon Gate at 2650 meters above sea level. And guys, yeah, it's another day to be here. It's a bright day. No, guys, uh, <laughs> let me tell you mine. Like today is my last day in Nanyuki, let me see. But I will still come back for some other experiences. And you know, like we literally thought, like, uh, <laughs> okay, like we knew some somehow to get to Mount Kenya is very tricky, but we've been, we've been told, like, for you to get to the top of to the peak of the mountain, it will take you about three days. Yeah, for you to get to one peak, for you to get to the other peak, it's gonna take you another two days. So, you have to carry yourself everything that you think is good for camping, food, clothing, everything, and then you need a guide. So, we've been in this place uh, at the moment. We are trying to process some fee, fee payment for us to get access and also to get a, a guide because we into like a, it's not advisable for you to get to these places without a guide a guide who is well trained a guide who knows where to and what to at this particular time you know so i can see mount kenya at a distance that's mount kenya but it's not close that <laughs> as it may seem to be it's very very far from here and uh, so for you to get inside here, uh, you have to pay a fee, a constant fee, which is about $3, you know, for you as a human, as a, as a person. And then the car, because you have a car, you have to pay, you have to pay for it for some $2. So uh, in total, you have to pay about $5. And then you have to pay the guide. And uh, I'm telling you from here where I'm standing at the moment, there's a bridge that is coming and I'm telling you it's very very heavy like you feel like it's a, like an, an over flooded river <laughs> flowing you know but anyway guys uh, before you go to the next stop or to the next destination let us uh, uh, first of all have the experience of this place and then you know, shall know what to do and then as I'm talking I just saw an animal coming in I don't know what it's coming to do and it's working majestically I'm telling you Without be without fearing nobody, but at the same time, there are some people who have decided to camp around this place. They live here. It's like they live here. You come here, park. You pay your, your you pay your parking fee here around this place, and then uh, you know, you live. You know, like they are. That's animal. That's the animal that's running. That's a bamboo. Running very fast. You know, visitors intending to stay at Australian, Australian heart should be there, you know. There's some visitors who may opt to stay here. And you have this animal. There's another one which is running around that place. They're running to the bush. Yeah, so guys, we're going to be getting into the forest. 
I'm trying to negotiate with a um, guide to see what's going on. But at the moment, I'm sure like you can feel the breeze. It's just so, so, so cold. I'm telling you. Yeah, so, guys, give this video a like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know what you think about it. Uh, let me go and see what's written here. I don't know who to founded this place. Let's see who founded this place. It was officially inaugurated on Monday, January 21st, 2019 by Honorable Chris Obure, AGH, Ministry of Transport, Infrastructure, Housing and Urban Development Works, and Mr. Walter Triton, First Consular, European Union, Delegation to Kenya, project funded by the European Union in partnership with the government of Kenya. Okay, that's the Kenya WS, Minister of Transport and uh, Infrastructure. Okay. So, we're going to be enjoying the serene, the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful serene from this area. And I'm really excited, guys, because <laughs> it's my first time. And I want to say thank you, thank you to God for the opportunity that he gave me. And also for this YouTube thing, I'm having a chance to explore some of the things that I, I only used to read them in books actually. But then I'm having a chance to experience, and that is through your support that I'm able to do this stuff. Right? You encourage me day in day out when you watch the videos. Like you know, the more you watch the video, the more you encourage, the more you comment on those videos. At least I'm knowing like I'm on the right track. Like man, it's just just a blessing. And I want to urge you to continue supporting me the best way you can and God is going to bless you. So, here you have a chance to drive, you can just decide to drive, drive in me and come back. Or at the same time you can decide to just go and have a walk, have a little bit of a hike. You know, then you have the best experience. So right now we're going to be getting in with our, our, with our guide, then we continue the journey. And that's the beautiful office. No. So we're gonna be getting in and uh, continue with our journey. Welcome to Mount Kenya Experience. Guys, I can spot some bamboo forest here. So it means like this forest uh, is just just full of different species. And uh, but there are some trees that are very very vital. And uh, in case I get a chance to get to trace one of the trees that I know that its purpose, I'm gonna show you. Because okay, one of the benefit of bamboo trees they mitigate they are mitigate they, are, they mitigate a lot of soil erosion and also they also oh, wow. helps in uh, preventing the landslide actually. But I don't think this forest can experience something like a landslide. But they are very nice for so uh, mitigating soil erosion and they provide very cool 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 environment and cool breezes so we still uh, cruising around uh, now I guess we can officially say like we're in Mount Kenya forest right and, uh, it looks nice guys what do you think about these views very beautiful views and sceneries Mbaya. We've been to like this place called, called Mbaya, which means like a bad corner. Guys, this is the beautiful view. I feel like we're getting to Mount Kenya. Look at that place. Actually, how big is Mount Kenya Forest? <laughs> Since six counties or countries. Countries like Ethiopia, Mary, Mary, Rakanevi, Elbu, Elbu, So guys, the Mount Kenya is very All these counties. Yeah, 
Animals. We have elephant that is not even good uh, guide. We have uh, we have elephant. We have buffalo. We have zebras. We have tiban. Like uh, we have uh, bamboo. We have gazelles. Like, you know, lions cannot dwell in this place because they are very it's very cold. And lions always like places which are very warm. And for you to get inside here, for me as a assistant, I just need to pay like uh, three dollars. The most expensive thing. The guide is the most expensive pass of the to get to this So guys, we just got here, and uh, look at that view, guys. Look at it. Very beautiful. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like the wind is blowing me away. And as you can see, guys. Hey, can I film the bags, please? As you can see, there are some serious backpackers here. Are you guys going to the mountain or are you coming down? Coming down. From the mountain. So for how many days have you been there? Four days. Even your lips mend the. <laughs> My brother's lips are very dry even because of water. Wow. So like you've been there even when it has been raining. Wow. Man guys, I'm telling next time when I'm coming to this place, I'm coming personally to go to camp to the peak of the mountain. Like how was the experience at the peak of the mountain? Tough. <laughs> Tough. Tough. So he has been on top of the mountain for four days and it has been raining. You know, like this season is very rainy, so and um, August and Hampton is the best time because it's sunny and stuff like that. You see, guys, people have been having some very big bugs. 
big backpacks. Actually, I want to, to have like one, like this one. I'm gonna get it next week when, when I go to Nairobi. Very big bags. Yeah, some cooking gas and tent. Hey. I thought now this is how to start. I just arrived this way. They are arriving. They just left. So they were in the mountain. Oh, you've been in the mountain for the last four days. I'm telling you, guys. <laughs> Guys, so when I see something like this, I'm inspired. Next time when I'm coming during the August, I'm coming for it. I'm coming fully prepared for it. And then you have some clean water here. Mm. Have some clean water. So in case you feel like uh, you can refill your bottle, this way you can come and get some water. You can refill your bottle here now. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah. So you've been told like this. this camp limited. Run and managed by Mountain Rock Hotels Management Limited. So, so we are at three thousand three hundred. Yeah. 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 And uh the Yes, let's start at the viewpoint. So we'll be going to the viewpoint. Uh, we will be going to Met Station. No, we will because we were this Met Station. 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 It's okay, it's okay. Guys, you know, for them, they had, they, you guys, you, you had pulled out of this challenge. Yeah, 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 we didn't want to come. I basically, I didn't want to. I didn't want to. So in case you but get anyway, here, you feel like you don't have the energy, you can remain there. Give me and give me a continue. But he has actually said it's only for two hours. No, so it's, it's okay. He said about three, two to three hours, guys. So I yeah. think I can manage. I'll I am manage. ready for the challenge. I'm ready too. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm telling you, man. Hey, and I have my boots on. The only thing that I don't have is backpack now. But I, I'm getting that back next next week. I'm gonna buy. It. You know, you can come here and have this beautiful view. Wow. Yo guys, welcome to Mount Kenya Forest, man, and I'm here, Whew. I am ready for the day, I know it's gonna be tough, but you know what, it's not tougher than me, because I got my boots, Whew. so I am ready for it guys, I'm telling you, yeah, so look at this place, really beautiful. Very beautiful, I'm telling you. So far, guys, I think I should open a, a, camp, a jacket camp. This is actually big. Jacket for hire. <laughs> jacket for hire. I, I, guys, I, I think I should be. I should be. Uh, this is. I should be a business. Oh, jacket you should do. Hire. You should do. Uh, <laughs> a hiring thing. Uh, yeah, hiring. <laughs> you see, all these people are dressing. I, I should, I should open this business. It should be as a business to me. Ready for hiking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at our man here. He mm. really prepared us, guys. Look, this coat is so beautiful. Maera, mm. shall we talk business? This one I bought it in Uganda. Shall we talk business? You, uh, if you bring only, uh, nice if you if you bring twenty dollars, it's okay. And it also blends with my color, right? Yeah, if you bring twenty dollars, it's okay. Okay. So guys, I'm gonna be having my jacket also somewhere here. Yeah, okay, have my. Yeah. So, and I have my bag. You know, for me, guys, I'm telling you, I've always been ready for this kind of. Thing.
Oh, it's inside. Oh. And then you, do, you know thing, one thing about it on this one is rain coat. It, 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 yeah, it's water. It's water, 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 water resistant. Yeah, it's water resistant. You're also water looking. <laughs> Mine is not waterproof. <laughs> it's waterproof, and then it has some. You know, it has the yeah, cup. The cup. Uh, yeah, but the cup is too big because it. But fits you also, you. but it, it fits you. It is fitting you properly. The cup. No, the jacket. No, oh, the so jacket. Nice. Yeah, okay. It's good on you. All right, guys. So let's start. We're waiting to refill the water and then. Yes, sir. Are you ready for the challenge? Huh? Yes, I am. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> that is Kife. Woo! Yes. From top or from bottom, bottom to top. You know me. Huh? I I always love challenges and I love extremes. So we are ready. I'm only afraid of the ladies. I, I, I'm also. Afraid. I was ready of climbing up to the mountain. <laughs> you know, I'm also like for the ladies. I'm, I feel so sorry I, for I'm them. Afraid they'll bring us back at the pit. No, no, no. We, we we've made that promise. Yes. If where they're gonna give up, they're gonna wait for us there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. They're gonna chill there. Actually. Yeah. So guys, this is the the last place that the vehicles they cannot exit. This place. This is the last stop. Now from here, may your feet help you. <laughs> so guys, the challenge begins officially. <laughs> gonna be two hours <laughs> yeah and you all see right, like right. you see they have already started right, the challenge people are so excited i'm so happy i feel <laughs> uh, kiba is making noise I'll I'm buy blend there so guys let's keep rolling you know the good thing about about me i'm this kind of a person i'm not trying to brag but mentally i'm always ready for any challenge you know so, but the thing is uh, like uh, we have the breeze so I don't think like we're gonna have that chance to, to sweat and uh, I'll have to lock my jacket in a minute so the next clip that you're gonna see me I'll be I'll have locked my jacket so that I don't I don't experience the coldness but I mean this place looks so nice it's my first time to be here but it's not my first time to be in a, in a Yuki forest you know where we grew up with my mom, we used to be living next to Mount Kenya. So for me, it's just feel something. Like, like, there's some mist fog there. Look like some like someone who is cooking there. Then, only thing you should notice. Where is agreement with the ladies? The grass. Yeah. Yeah. We stay there, and we wait for that for us to come back. So guys, one thing that you note when you come into this uh, forest is the grass is very much different. You know, look at this grass. Very, very much different. Very different. Very different. Even my today, I guess today I'm in the right track. The only thing that is, is uh, off track is there. <laughs> the shirt. But I feel like my trouser is very light. I have a jacket on. And my glasses. And uh, two other guys there has my bag. He has, up there. he has offered to carry my bag. Then uh, inside the bag we have some water. We have some juice. We have some snacks. In case someone feels like uh, they're hungry, they can grab, you know. Yeah, but in case I'm promising you, next time that you come, I'm gonna come to Nanyuki, I'll be coming for the big challenge to climb Mount Kenya. Yeah, I'll come to Mount Kenya and, uh, during the August time because that's the best time because the weather is always very, very, very dry. So it's not gonna be extremely cold. Now, I don't know if it is fire. Maybe you can ask Boniface here at our guide. She's so clean. She was supposed to go to the airport. Not to the mountain. So I have a question. Is it the fire that made this the trees look like this or what? Fire. I'm trying. So like for how many days did it burn? It burned for more than a week. More than a week. Guys, you see like all these trees that you see here. This was the this was the cause of fire, and it and it went burning for a whole week. Now you can you can imagine how long it took for the even the government itself to put out the fire or the amount of loss as a government or as a as a park they had went through or even the amount of animals that lost their habitat due to fire. I knew some of this fire come as a result of uh, maybe they may be in the forest, then they drop a matchstick, maybe someone was smoking, then they drop a matchstick by a mystic. And then when a matchstick falls on a dry grass, boom, the fire starts. You no. Know? 
That's a quite a huge, huge challenge. But they face fires are the most main, main, main challenge here. But you can see the trees are coming back. Kate, we made an agreement with each other. Like, where you guys are gonna give up, you're gonna wait for us. <laughs> In case. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's enjoy the video. Please remember to subscribe, to comment, you know, you think about it. Yeah. Guys, I saw some clean water, but I won't take. I promise I'm not gonna take water. This water because I don't know where it's coming from. And uh, a beautiful flower there. I don't know, oh, this water is coming out you from here. Uh -oh. Looks so nice and clean. Maybe it's coming from the ground. Oh! Oh, it was a rock. I thought it was a frog that jumped over. Please, if you'll be coming to Kenya, make sure, please, you try to come and have a Mount Kenya experience. Yeah, because I bet this is, this is one of the major, major tourist attractions in Kenya. Mount Kenya and then wildlife. At least two things that you should try when you come to Kenya. Try Mount Kenya and also uh, the wildlife, the Masai Mara, stuff like that. Come and try them. It's gonna be a, a beautiful experience. Wow! But actually, guys, it is not as cold as people may think. I bet the more you go closer to the mountain, the warmer it is. <laughs> So here, it tends to be different. The higher you go, the cooler it becomes. But for me here, I feel like the higher I go, the warmer it becomes. The down I go, the colder it becomes. Now you see whatever I was talking about. You see? This is a match stick. Okay? Meaning like someone was smoking here. What if that one match stick fell on this grass? Fire again. So, these are the major, major, major picture challenge that they face. I love the fact that we have some water dropping. Guys, I want to show you how this grass looks like. Look at this grass. They look like seeds. Imagine. That's how they look like. You know? They can even sit on them. Looks like a seat. I'm telling you. They look so nice. <laughs> wow, they look so nice. I would love to know what type of the grass is this one. Because you can plant them at your home and you're using them as seeds. <laughs> or if you have a, a you know like a a resort, you plant them. And you're gonna use them as seeds. But I told you like the grass which is growing around this place is very much 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 different from the one that grows on the other side, on the lower side. Uh, guys, you may ask yourselves why I am so behind. It's because I want to make some good content and I feel when I'm alone, I am more productive and at the same time, those people are just, uh, they are chatting, you know? Just to have that space of your own, wherever you can talk, I can have a space for you. For me and you guys, at least, you know, on the other side, you have to make a different, you have to be different from the others. So I'm trying to be at the same place, but trying to make my video kind of different. Yeah, but in a minute, in a minute, I'll be with them. Wow, I love this place. <laughs> I feel like documenting anything, everything. I don't know what, what to be, what to leave behind. 
because I'm very much excited. Hey, please subscribe, subscribe, please. Ready to 8,000 subscribers at the moment. Please subscribe. So, guys, uh, we just came from this point. Here. This is where we came from. I've been be walking for the last about 30 minutes. And as you can see, ladies, <laughs> they demanded like you must sit down. So, as you can see, they're enjoying themselves. They're having. Someone is taking some bread <laughs> and, and some soda there. That is Kate taking some soda. <laughs> that is Kibe with a, uh, with a tour guide there. And then I am here. So this is our first resting place. No. For just uh, relaxing. Then we're gonna continue our, our hike. This is a hike and experience. I love the breeze. Like I'm telling you guys, I'm going to lie to you. The, the more you keep on walking and you have this jacket, the more warm you feel. So I felt like it's just let me just release it and uh, feel the breeze, you know. Feel the breeze because as you walk, your body emits some heat, you know. So and then when you cover, that means that your body is still retaining the heat. So and uh, the higher you go. So it starts sweating. So I just feel like let me just take it off and relax and feel the breeze. So at the same time, guys, I'm enjoying the sun and the wind. This is Nanyuki, this is in, uh, Mount Kenya Forest, this is Kenya, this is Africa. And as you can see, there are some people who are coming down. They've been I bet they've been walking. So let's just sit down and wait. And you see, there's a fog, guys. And actually the fog is like it's coming. So as it as it comes, is it, this is not the one that uh, prevents us from seeing Mount Kenya from where we are. Kibe, the fog is coming, bro. Yeah, look at it's coming. It's coming, guys. So. Let us have her, let us have a rest, then we continue the hiking. Start. So guys, after resting for about 15 minutes, we are back en route to Mount Kenya. So, I'm not sure you're gonna get here. But uh, in the meantime, uh, we're here, we're gonna feel the experience. Like, you know, it's all about having that experience and, all, and also preparing our minds. But next time when you're coming here, you know what to expect. At the same time, you'll have, like today, I have not the right gears to have when I'm coming over, what to and what not to do, you know, and how to go about it. And today, I have known like we have three main entry. That is the one that we've come, come through, which is called C? C, 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 And then you have the Narumor one, and also you have one from Togoria. So, next time when I'm coming over, but I would love to access it through Mount K. I mean Nanyuki because Nanyuki. Uh, no, me, me, I'd like to access it just from here. Nanyuki, Nanyuki is a. My heart is always at, at Nanyuki, I guess. So. <laughs> so, guys, today I'm with the tour guide. I'm leaving these people and they're gonna pay me a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're losing us. You're losing us. No, 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 I cannot leave you. Okay. Guy behind the camera, why not keep it? Someone has some cooking oil. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they use all of it from the. <laughs> I bet they were. They, they Maybe were cooking oil or they were carrying, carrying milk. <laughs> Mursik, you know Mursik? It's an energizer. Yeah, they were carrying an energizer. <laughs> yes. But anyway, keep it. Yes, sir. How do you feel so far? Man, me, I'm so excited. I feel so good. Uh -huh. I feel like I really wanted to do this. Although I really wanted to climb the mountain itself, I was told that it's not possible right now. Mm -hmm. It is possible, but you are not prepared for all three days and four days. Sure. Because you could have, you could be going now to climb. Yeah. But, but you just carry. For three days or four days. But even for this, uh, it's good. We're enjoying it. Yeah. And I'm having a very good time. But just carry, guys. We're not prepared for this. We knew, like, at the back of our mind, like we could wake up. Ah, these the mountains. They are just there. Yes. You thought know, it was a one-day activity. Yes. Huh? A shock on us. <laughs> four, day, four days, three nights. So you have some more people resting at that place. For us, we're just continuing. And now, 
the higher you go, the cooler it becomes now. The fog is just ahead of us. So you are almost to be covered by the fog. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Miss Toke. Hi, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> the struggle is real, guys. Hey, don't, don't come this place if you're not prepared mentally and physically. You need to be physically fit. Yeah. <laughs> Kate, do you feel like crying? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going with the vibe. Yeah, throw the vibe. Is that the mountain I'm seeing? Just slow, not yet. Oh, there! I can see it. Oh, oh. Ah, guys, the mountain is just ahead of us. You mean like we cannot get there? Yeah. <laughs> yeah? It's not easy. It's look near. So, do you think you can see it very well to Fogo Kombel? How many depends on this? Um, yeah, depends on you. This fog. Hey, 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 it's very high. Wow. So for how uh, for kama kuna fog wanga inaonekana mzuri you can even see the peaks ukifika hapo wanga unaonekana mzuri peak okay guys is trying to say like uh, when there is no mist or the fog the peaks of the mountains are visible clearly very nicely so for how long have you been doing the tour guiding I've been on for the last 8 years but waking up early, do you have any other hassle apart from this one <laughs> so when is the market at its best? Uh, the, the tour guiding market? December, mm -hmm. uh, January, uh -huh. up to February. Up to February. Yeah, because uh, the weather is favorable. Again, the weather is favorable. Uh -huh. And then again, at the other side of Europe, mm -hmm. it's too cold. Okay. So, so people just come. So people come over. Yeah, they come over to enjoy it because uh -huh. the weather is favorable in Kenya uh -huh. and in Europe. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have another question. You know, guys, I've been I've been telling my viewers here yeah, like Nanyuki, Nanyuki, Nanyuki is the best. What makes Nanyuki to stand out? Like, what makes Nanyuki to be a hot spot for tourists? Okay, Nanyuki, Nanyuki uh -huh. is the best entry uh -huh. if you want to a uh, hike Mount Kenya uh -huh. because it does not have stiff mm -hmm. mountain. Okay, as in you can walk. Uh -huh. Uh, without straining much as uh -huh. compared to some other uh, uh, gate entries. Uh -huh. yeah, so many people like uh, using a uh, ceremony gate uh -huh. to access the mountain. Okay. Yeah. okay, my viewers, most of my viewers are international people and I've been championing for, for Nanyuki so much. Apart from them coming to experience Mount Kenya, what makes Nanyuki to be the best place for them to tour? In case someone is watching the video and he or she would love to come to Kenya and to be more precise, Nanyuki not to Mombasa. Okay, Nanyuki, uh -huh. Nanyuki uh, accommodation uh -huh. is, is having the best accommodation uh -huh. as compared to those other places. places. Uh -huh. So it's just the best place. Like and the weather? Uh, the weather is also favorable in Nanyuki. Uh -huh. And yeah, security wise, Nanyuki uh -huh. is very, very okay. Yeah. Yeah, so we urge people who want to visit Mount Kenya mm -hmm. to come and use the Nanyuki route that ceremony. Yeah. Yeah. So guys, do you confirm whatever I was telling? I was telling like the Nanyuki has the best weather. Like uh, it is the same same place that you can be. It is hot, it is kinda cold at the same time. Like it gives the best best weather. It is not complicated. Life is so easy. People here are so friendly. As you have as you have heard from him, he lives here, so he knows much much about Nanyuki and the, and the security issues, accommodation issues. And in case you want to have to experience Mount Kenya, like we were aiming to experience Mount Kenya, but we're here to create a memory and also to have that pre-experience of hiking Mount Kenya at its best. But today, we're gonna take you so that at least you can have a snippet of what to expect when you come to Kenya. Visit Kenya, visit Africa, visit Mount Kenya, visit Nanyuki. I'm telling you guys, I am a citizen of this country. It is my first time to be here and I've already loved this place. Imagine, look at this. Beautiful, beautiful sceneries from this place. Very beautiful and very inviting. And I see, look at the, the flora and fauna. Very beautiful, I'm telling you. Yeah. Eh? English, my friend. <laughs> flora, I believe it's more of plant. Fauna is animals, right? Yeah. So you have the flora is beautiful. So you're yet to see the fauna. <laughs> Guys, the mist is coming. The fog is still coming. 
our way. And then you can listen to some voices from the birds. They're chirping. Look at this place, guys. Just beautiful. Very beautiful. Wow, very beautiful, I'm telling you. My people, I'm, I'm telling you, in this forest, you're coming across so many things. Like this, look at this tree. It's dry, but look at the way things that are forming on it. Well, I feel like on a wedding. <laughs> I feel like on my wedding, if I'm gonna do a big wedding, but my dream is not to do a wedding. My dream is always to have this kind of a small garden wedding with my family and my fiance and my few friends. Yeah, I don't like big church wedding whereby you invite everybody, they come, they eat food, and then they go back to say, oh, even that couple didn't, they were not matching, the food was not like this and that. You know, those blah, blah, blah things. I feel like in my private wedding, I can have these kind of things <laughs> if I have money. They look so nice when you are getting in the entrance, you know. And for my love of nature, this would be so nice. I would connect with it. Look at the way they look so nice. Very nice. And then another thing that makes this place to stand out. Even when a, when a tree falls down, it just rot by itself. Look at this one. This one is a dead tree. Purely dead and dried. Look at it, it is just beautiful. Just laying there, uh, lying down there. Very beautiful. I, I'll be posting these pictures on my Insta. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'll be posting these pictures on my Instagram. Kindly follow me on Instagram at only Mawira. Only Mawira, come there, subscribe. I mean, follow me there. Uh, so at the moment, we are going to the that spot. It's another resting spot, but uh, it's more of a meteorological site, you know. It's more of a meteorological site, so we're gonna go there and see what you, what's gonna be happening there. But so far, so good. I feel. I hope like you guys are enjoying the video too and feeling the vibe. Wow, this place looks so nice. Very nice. Very, very nice, very calm. But so far, so good, guys. We haven't been having an encounter with any wild animal, you know. That's the best part of it. And uh, when you get into the, to the, to this place, there are some details that you're supposed to leave at the gate. You give out your number, how many days that you're going to be here. If you have day trip or if you are coming here to camp, you're going to give out the details. And then for security purpose, they also ask the name for your next of kin, you know. That shows like security and your safety is paramount and it is put at, at first, you know, in this place. Guys, this is Kenya. And today, Mawira is feeling so happy and blessed to be here. <sighs> Ham is chalky there with the Hagushi glasses. Oh, she only oh wears... She only wears big brand. <laughs> only. <laughs> your glasses too are nice. Hmm? I'm saying your glasses too are nice. Yeah. Like they don't have a label. This one are only Mavera label. <laughs> only Mavera label. You know one thing Some about me? Yeah. I'm this kind of a guy who is always ambitious. Okay. Uh, uh, in far, in nearby future, okay. I have an idea of designing my own trousers. Cloth line. Yeah, clothes and also glasses. Ah. For the love I have for glasses. Uh -huh. I'll be having some glasses in the air. <laughs> 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 no. Why not? Is actually running. No, he's creating oh. content. That is content. Yeah, you're gonna know. You'll understand Where what he's doing what later. Is this, uh, camera? Oh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I've not even noticed. Yeah, so, so guys. Content creators create content. Let me yeah. show you guys. So some of these <laughs> shots, you know, some of these shots, guys, you have to have to do yourself, you know, and especially. When you're alone, you have to know how to depend on yourself. Yeah. 
You can't put that girl like that. <laughs> Guys, we are almost at the, at the top, and uh, I'm telling you from a distance that's Mount Kenya now. You know the fog is covering it, but we're gonna have. We're just hoping and hope, praying that you're gonna see it clearly. And uh, that's our dream and our wish. Like I'm sure, like you can see it now. That's Mount Kenya. Imagine it's just near, but you cannot touch it. Like <laughs> you cannot get there today. Imagine. But this reminds me of like, like you can see, but you cannot touch. <laughs> hey guys. Now look at this place, the water. The water is just here. But you cannot drink this water because you know people are walking on it. People are putting their feet on it. And um you know one thing I don't know why people hike. I would love to know why people do climb mountains. I would love to like is there people like professionally like this yeah, that's their job. And uh, another thing, how do you earn from being a a full time mountain climber? How do you earn? I would love to know. In case you're there and you have this kind of information, please comment down below. Let me know. Okay, like, like you know, for me, my job is to, to, to travel and to, 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 to document, you know. And then, for those who climb mountains professionally, how do they earn? I would love to know. Please, in case you're there, you know, this kind of information, let me know. And guys, Mount Kenya is coming. The snow, I mean, the mist is just going. And uh, it's becoming clear. That's it. That's it. You know it's coming out. So the reason why it is shining, we are told it's because of the ice. Imagine it's just ahead of us, but we cannot get there today. Mm. Water. I am trying to look for that water. Beautiful. Wow. So, okay, let's keep walking. And you know what? Uh, we bought some sweets that are motivating us. So, as you're, as you're hiking, you know, and then the, the one thing that I love about our tour guide is not too fast, you know, he's going with our pace. Slowly but sure, slowly but sure. It looks so nice. Guys, look at this beautiful earth. So it's retaining water. Look at the way they are retaining water. I believe this is how they survive, you know. And then this place is just mushy. <laughs> it's just mushy. Man, I love the way the ground looks like. I'm this kind of a person. I just don't like following the trail because 
the trail is too common Daha doesn't have anything so sometimes my eyes are just popping side by side <laughs> like okay something is there i better go for it and i'm enjoying and uh, i thank god for giving me this opportunity to be experiencing this kind of thing like uh man thank god and god may you always rem remember to bless each and every person who is always there watching my videos supporting me man thank you guys and may god bless you and, and remember you at the point of your need when you call him may he always come through for you thank you guys for making my life beautiful it is because of you that i'm able to enjoy this honestly thank you so much my audience i love you i love you so much and i'll work hard always to make sure like, i give you the best content look at this mm -hmm. So beautiful, I'm telling you. Super, super nice. Mm -hmm. Thank you God for my job. <laughs> yeah, thank you God for my job because I'm not this kind of a person who is in the office rotating with an office chair. But I'm not trying to say like other jobs are not nice. But as for me, I feel Everybody, whatever we are doing is the best for us. So I'm just here personally thanking God for this chance and experience of this job. As a Kenyan, as a boy from Africa, God, I'm grateful and I'm thankful. Really. I wish like I had a house here. <laughs> wow, I'd be living my best life. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So guys, let us continue walking. And when I see something exciting, something worth sharing, your boy got you. Yeah. And as we are walking guys, uh, I see there's a toilet. I see there's a toilet there. So, and I see some uh, some pointings. Hey, there's some water here. So where is this water coming from? It's melting ice from the mountain. Wow. Hey, it's really cold. Ah, it's it's really cold, guys. I'm telling you. Hey, hey. Ah, my hands. Ah. I can dare you to, 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 to sleep here with your bag. How much? For thousand kilos sleep. Hold this camera. <laughs> Hold this camera. <laughs> Kiba is daring me to sleep here. Bear chest. Yes. For five minutes. For for ten for ten dollar. Yes. Just to sleep here, bear chest. Yes. Hold my camera, bro. Hold my camera. Okay, Guys. Let me try. Okay. Kate. Yes. Kiba has dared me to sleep here, bear chest. Oh he gives goodness. me ten dollars. For, for ten minutes. Not, no, no, five no, minutes. No, 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 no. I didn't mention time. Just for me. <laughs> no. Five minutes. No, no. Five You'll minutes. Freeze out. Ah, you with start. your clothes on. No, with my bare chest. <laughs> yes. Oh. That's fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> my, no. My, my thousand would go like that. No. Only ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Kiba just got afraid because he still, he thought like I was I was hesitating. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, this cold. <laughs> wow, this melting ice, guys. Wow. What are some more cold? Melting ice. So this is purely clean. Yeah, not clean. not contaminated. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Just been like that for years, bro. As much as it is, it is melting ice, I promise you guys I won't take. Yeah. Because my situation, I, whatever I underwent through, oh, yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't love to go to experience it again. That's super clean water. Wow. Alright guys, so I'm straight to my... So there are some paintings here. Because people are drinking this water. Yeah. 
Licky enough. How was this now? To ship ship town. I want I want to I want to do something memorable. Do you have a pen? No. Oh, so this are, to be here. this is supposed to go to Shipton? Yeah, no, this is supposed to Shipton. I'll Those are a campsite. I'll together. Okay. <laughs> this is an achievement. You remember me for these guys. Leak here to, leak here to Shipton via Leak here North. Yes. This is to Shipton via Leak here North. This is where we are, guys. Man, the water is fascinating me. I went to Shipton. I, oh, you are supposed to go to Shipton. Yeah. This melting ice cream is so fascinating, I'm telling you. in here so that I can have this best view. Look at it guys. Very beautiful. And so there are pretty. Hey Kibe can you see whatever is happening? Yes. What do you see? I'm a warning kid, you can't see anything. Can't see anything. <laughs> Guys, I can see a lot of mist. the fog is now coming to cover us. Yes, because a lot of fog was on this side. Yeah. So I we expect it to come and pass. It's just there. passing just like this. Yes. Man, how do you feel? I'm telling you, this water is freezing <laughs> cold. Let me feel your hands. You hey, haven't had a chance to hold it? No, no, no. Why? I don't want to freeze too much. <laughs> just warm. I'm, I'm it's like just cold. My finger. Hey, I'm telling you guys. Now from here you can only you can, we are only seeing dust dust. <laughs> wow, this place very nice. The ladies are having the moment of themselves there. Yeah? They are using our tour guide here. <laughs> He's not a videographer. Yeah. For making memories memorable. Hey, very nice. The views are just viewing. The views are viewing. <laughs> Guys, the views are viewing. <laughs> if there is something like that, the views are viewing. Or did I lie? Guys, are the views not viewing? Hmm? It's very beautiful. Very beautiful, I'm telling you. Guys, I'm telling you, the sun is now here. And our dream. Actually, guys, I forgot to give you some gossip. I have a number plate. Only Mawira, a Kenyan, <laughs> Kenyan YouTuber, I have a number plate now. So, guys, we're here, and our hope is like this time is gonna make the the fog to disappear. We are having some photo shoot here. We are having some photo shoot. Our tour guide has been a photographer, man. <laughs> some people are having some awesome, 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 awesome moment there. So, guys, our dream and our prayers is just. To have the best view of my school, I can have that one. We are done. No? We're gonna be having a moment then. And guys, this is, imagine this melted ice. Melting ice. Melting ice there. Guys, very beautiful. And it's warm actually. After I put on my jacket, it's becoming warmer. So my people, as we, are, as we are trying to go and find the best place for us to have a view of at least one, one peak of the mountain. Yeah, even the view behind is lucky. amazing. Hmm? Yes. I'm telling you to come over here so that you can, have, you can see me clearly when I'm doing my side hustle. Yes. I have oh, a new yeah. side hustle. So my side hustle is to cross over, <laughs> to help people view, to cross over the I river. don't have the right gear for the... Uh, now, guys, how much are you gonna pay me? How much do you want? I want like a half a day, uh, 500. Uh, <laughs>
half ten dollars. Half ten dollars. And how many hours are you help doing? Help Katie cross. I'm just going to help you to cross over this river. Two hundred. Two hundred Kenyan shillings. Two hundred is good. Okay. <laughs> and next time you put on your right attire. You guys, this side hustle. <laughs> Miss Choge, yes. you're the next. Pre pre hustle. Prepare your two dollars. Prepare yourself. Prepare your, your pocket. <laughs> <laughs> Eh. Enough. <laughs> I'm coming back for this joke. Pray for us. Next. <laughs> I can't cross over here. Okay, no. try. I can. You can. There's a stone over here. Okay, you try. You step on. Okay. And then on the other side. So guys, they're actually challenging me to pass here. To pass yes. here. Tell me hold for me. I can make it. Make it. I can make it. I don't need to be carried oh. Okay. I will make it. Miss okay. Choge okay. says she'll make it. <laughs> I'll make it, guys. Okay. Make, make it. it. Okay. <laughs> oh, good, good, good. Just but like your that. shoes are wet. Yes. Just like that. But it's right. No, your shoes. <laughs> You've saved your products. Sh your shoes are not. They're not so wet. <laughs> I don't now want from... to be paid. I don't want to pay anybody. <laughs> now from here, from there, now your shoes are gonna now be smelling. Ah, they won't be smelling, guys. <laughs> Oh, there's a seat passer. Oh, so they were able to, ret to retract him. Yeah. He is sick. Oh, that's why they were going very fast. Hey. There's there someone who is very sick here. And we really hope that this is for years. Not our dream. <laughs> Are you okay? Imagine this is just a, oh, this is just a melted uh, ice. So we're gonna be having this experience. <laughs> I thought I like Rasta man was supposed to be peaceful, but that means not a peaceful Rasta man. <laughs> <laughs> he's, been, he's like closed those pictures. He's really oh, angry. I say she's a woman, not a man. Yeah, yeah, she's a lady. No. Because those are rest, the yeah, if, now she's the main person who's being rescued. Yeah. No, the rest will just oh, oh, yeah. They have some bags. Mm -hmm. Oh, guys, oh, camera, it's like, it's like an ambulance. <laughs> you can find everybody. The, the, the people who are with that, the ambulance. That trust man is the just like... Please, can you shut down those cameras of yours? You came for the nature, not to, to record. <laughs> guys, look at these flowers. Beautiful. No, not sizeo. These are just beautiful flowers. Very beautiful flowers. Are you sure your shoes are gonna come here or you want to carry I carry you? Okay. We need more money. I came here for work. Guys, okay, look at this. Very beautiful. Guys, we still traversing and uh water here is in plenty. Water is in plenty. I'm telling you, the views are viewing. And this is where we are walking through. Hey. <laughs> so still traversing here. Hmm. I hope, like you guys, are still enjoying the way I'm enjoying. Cause, wow, the scenery is. It's so beautiful, you know. And I still have the energy to keep on going. So we've been walking for the last about two and a half hours, and uh, we still have the energy to continue. So for you to survive in this place, you must have been having a good boot, and I thank God for my boots. They are really coming through for me. Let me show you Kiba. How Kiba is coming through. <laughs> Look at Kiba's shoe.
Land cruiser. <laughs> what a proof. You're walking like those people like you see. In the movies, oh, those are very dangerous people. Yes. <laughs> you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. I want to leave a mark here. <laughs> what kind of a mark do you want to leave? I might put a stone somewhere and write it for my name. <sighs> hey, guys. The rocks are dripping, uh, uh, drop like the water, the rocks are dripping. Yeah. <laughs> Water everywhere. But the good thing, guys, since we started walking, we haven't come uh, an encounter with an animal, so we are still very safe. And in the national park. Yeah. But you know that the, the, our animals that are here, yeah. they are not dangerous. Yeah. They are animals that, before it attacks you, it must first of all know you are like. You know, also animals know when you are about to attack them. Yes, but in, you, you are, when you are friendly to them, they're gonna run there, like they're not gonna attack you. Hey guys, I want to check out those rocks. Oh man, very very beautiful. I'm telling you. Hey, imagine I came here just to get for you this good view. Very beautiful, I'm telling you. Wow. Ah. Guys, I've managed to climb Alisha Mount Kenya. <laughs> now I'm at one of the peaks of Mount Kenya. Maybe you can come close. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, the grass is so soft. I feel like sleeping on it. It's very soft. <laughs> Nice Be careful. Very nice. Yeah, what's up, people? This is all for you, I'm telling you. So, beside me, there's a rock that is just dripping water. On the other side, there's some more. No? Very beautiful. Yeah. So, guys, I'm gonna be having a good picture here. Please take this picture on Instagram at only Mawira. Okay? And make sure you give a follow. So guys, I'm telling you, I've, done, I've taken some pictures, you can check them on Instagram, at only Mawera. So we're going to be continuing our journey. It's a beautiful, beautiful views. Some very beautiful, beautiful views. This plant died. Wow. I'm loving whatever I'm seeing here, guys. I'm telling you for free. Look at this one guys, so cute, I'm telling you guys, looks so cute. <sighs> I think I might have to cut the clip, I have a picture of it. Then I continue with my climbing. Cut it guys. Very cute. Very nice. Very so I just finished having a picture of this. Very nice, very beautiful. So, I want to go up. I want to go up and see. Hey, I'm very careful, Kibe. Hey, 
Hey, I can see a beautiful river. Hey. Guys, I can see a very beautiful river. Wow, look at that, guys. Look at this river. Here. Keep it. There's, there's a beautiful river up there. And then you have some down there, up there. That's Cuba. Hey. Wow, guys. Hey. Yes, I'm on top of the world, actually, not on top of the mountain. <laughs> guys, I'm coming live from this. You know this place reminds me of a song that I was shot by one of a uh, East Africa superstar. His name is Ali Kiba. Yes, I know the song. We shot it in a place like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's called Utu. It was shot in a very beautiful scenery like this. <laughs> it's not that one, man. <laughs> yes. Let's look at this one. So I'm trying to go down. I'm very careful guys. Oh, my boots are really coming through for me. Water everywhere. I have to tie my boots. Oh. Very beautiful views. Scenaries. Guys, you see my boots are really coming through for me. <laughs> my boots are really coming through for me. <laughs> yeah. I do treat them. Look at them. Look at them. I do treat them. Look at them. I treat them. <laughs> Very beautiful. What a guy so I don't know. You think we're going to go to a point where you can see the mountain? It's very really much impossible, I'm telling you. Let us just get to the river, yeah. then we go back. If you are here, you put time to see. Hi, those, it's so many people. I want to write my name. I a story. Even you. My was there. There's an animal. Ooh. Lizard. My rose there. <laughs> yeah, you know you have to put this so that the trees can look like a tourist. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep it. Keep it. Let us walk fast to the river. So that before they come, we have already rested. <laughs> hey man, there's so much water there. <laughs> so you're gonna guide. Hey man. She's coming through for me. Yes. Yes. I can be honest with you. Yeah. At any point, I never thought like I would ever find myself in this place. Like this place, I only, I only used to study them in my social. Me too, bro. That's why. And history books. That's why I'm so excited to be here. And here, many thanks to YouTube. Whoever came up with the idea of YouTube... Is YouTube has brought us places and taken us places. And to my audience, I'm going to bless you because you guys, whatever we, we give you and the comment down there, your comments really come through for us and they encourage us to keep doing this. Like, the comment, they always make us know like, whatever you are doing, we are doing it the right way and the right thing, guys. So thank you for always supporting us. Yes. Encouraging us. Continue. 
and that's how we're going to be bringing you more and more exciting content and authentic content and you will never get tired of showcasing our beautiful Africa, our beautiful Kenya, like today in Mount Kenya, man. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, if you never don't make it to Mount Kenya, I feel like I was the good at it. I was there. This is going to be very famous. I was there. Yes, you are here. Yes. So guys, there's a huge TV over here. Not big, big, not big, big. My you can even see like the waterfall. Something like waterfall. Not yeah, this one, guys. You hear it. Not this one. There's a big waterfall down there. They are coming. Guys, can you see the sound of the river? This one sounds like a good fall. That one there, Kibe. Look at that place there. It is super oh. beautiful. Very beautiful. What you are Where is your county from here, bro? This is very county. Is this the rest county? Yeah. The rest county is your own county. Yeah, Embu County. I don't think the guys are. Oh, yeah, there are some trees there. They're going to use that one. <sighs> Too much fertility. This one is so dark because it is very very fertile. So we're going there guys. Yeah, there's a small bridge. Yeah, guys, please enjoy this video.
side and I have the beautiful river which is coming just direct from Mount Kenya. Imagine. These waters are just coming live from Mount Kenya up there. Imagine. Going this way. And uh, over here we have a very beautiful bright bridge. Wow. <laughs> there are so much stumps here that some things even fall down. And the beautiful flowers. The plants are super, super amazing. Man, guys, I hope like you can see the beauty and you can experience it. Experiencing the beauty of Mount Kenya at a close range. Have a beautiful bridge there. But it's very old, you know. Uh, our ladies are not yet here. Maybe they gave up. But uh, guys, please do not come after us. Our ladies, they are safe with their tour guide, so they are safe. So we have this river here. It's just flowing. And I have people there shooting a video. Imagine. Guys, check, look at that, guys. So therapeutic. So therapeutic, guys. Wow. Guys, even if I didn't manage to go to Mount Kenya, to the top of Mount Kenya, I feel like I have achieved something. I'm happy with my experience. My experience is better than this person. I feel like it's all super, super awesome. Look at this place. Very beautiful. It was 290 kilometers. So Kiba, how do you feel, man? Man, I feel so good, <laughs> man. I feel so yeah. good. The next thing that I just feel like doing is now climbing the mountain. So. Man, one thing that I'm, I'm saying, I'm telling my people here, yes. if I never didn't manage to go to the peak of the mountain, yes. I have had the experience of Mount Kenya! Yes! <laughs> you guys are missing! Our uh, ladies are here. And I've given my people also a disclaimer yeah. that those ladies were not dating those ladies. <laughs> yeah, 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 so, guys, you're not dating them. Yeah, yeah. We don't have any intimate relationship, we don't have anything. Don't, yeah, don't compete and say, hey, this guy must be having fun. No, no, no. We have it, fun. It's professional, yes. professional. 100% professional. No, no. To no. a point like even sometimes we don't even feel like hugging them. Yes, we have to do this. Just bump. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that is, that is I'm telling you guys, this place is just awesome. You see the fire that took one week. <laughs> Kibe is very cautious with me. Look at this place. So some people are here and they ate some fruit from here. You see, someone had some passion fruit, lemon. Someone also had some canned food. Here. And now you see like this place. Well, I just like I can see a snake there. But look at this. Wow, I just feel like my mission is done. Even if you go back right now, I'm okay. Kiba, whom are you trying to call? I'm trying to give you a call So that I can feel bad. 
so that they can feel bad. <laughs> Look at this one. <sighs> hey, man, I'm really happy and I'm grateful to God for this chance. You know, many people do wish to have this kind of experience, but they can't. But God has given me this chance. I'm happy and I'm thankful God. Thank you so, so much. I'm really grateful. And this place, ah, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. See the way I'm seeing like the fire burnt. Fire burning in the mountain. Ah. Ah. Guys, isn't this beautiful? You see the small streams now joining the big river? Look at this guys. Guys, <laughs> only my way welcome to my YouTube channel today and I feel excited. Woo! Hey! This is water from Melting Ice from Mount Kenya. And I am here seated doing a vlog. Hey guys, life is so beautiful. Live every moment like it's your life. This is Kenya, this is Mount Kenya, guys. And experience this. Hey. Guys, uh, I just noticed my phone is dying. Let me go up there and try to charge. Uh. Whoa. Hey, my brother. You know sometimes it looks like it's over floods such that water comes through these places. Yeah. There's a stone that got my shoe. So I'm trying to remove it guys. Hi ladies. <laughs> Are you happy to be here today? Yeah. Hey guys, I am telling you. Hey, hey. <laughs> Why do I feel like preaching? I feel like preaching because I have had my best of men, 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 men. Guys, this place has made my day. It has made my day and I can see that people have started gearing up. <laughs> Miss Choki has already started gearing up. <laughs> I'm feeling so cold, very cold, I'm freezing. It's uh, super, super cold. Uh, so uh, guys, we're going to be continuing. It's now our time to go back. 
Time to go back. I guess we should be started going. It's now time to go back. Anyway, guys, someone also left a, a mark here. Yeah. And the Kibe has worked, has worked really so hard to, to leave a mark. Let me go and see whatever he's been able to do. And this place has been amazing. My experience here has been fine, 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 fine. Oh my. Kibe. Kibe. I saw you working so hard to leave a mark. Did you make it? Come and show me. Maybe you can motivate me to leave mine too. <laughs> Must use a big rock. Oh, this one is very sharp. So that when you come back, when you come back. August. Hey! Why not keep it? This one can stay for long. Come here. Be careful, my friend. Come here, my friend. Right only my here. Yeah, you have to record me. Yes. But it will take you some two minutes. Oh, well, disconnect this for a minute. Okay. I don't know that I'm video for you. Mr. Mawira here is trying to leave a mark. Ah. Ah. Okay. Leave a good mark. This means that it's wrong. Let's wait for the final results from Mr. Mawira. Only. Only. Ma. We. Hey, you're finishing the high note. <laughs> <laughs> they must remember our names. Yes. Only Mawira was in Mount Kenya. Yes. Hey! Crafting is not easy. <laughs> yes. Woodcraft. Hey. Only Mawira was here. A full stop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's hey, good, man. thank you for inspiring me, man. Yes. I hope when you come here in the next one year or a couple of months, yeah, it will still be here. It shall be here, man. Yes. How did you write your own? <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I started doing this. <laughs> it's very hard, I, man. I also have a note, yes. Yes. All right, guys. That's Oli Mawira who has left his mark. Be careful. And this is the bridge. You cannot go to Mount Kenya without going through this bridge. Hey, subscribe. <laughs> yes, they'll find you there now. And this way goes to Mount Kenya, and this is the bridge. So here we've left a mark. Mr. Mawira here has left a mark. He's now writing subscribe. There is no subscribe. Yeah, subscribe. Subscribe to all... Hey, right? <laughs> You're like, you don't get a stone to me. <laughs> so yeah, that is that. That's only Mawira. All right, man. Hope we'll come know, here and find the mark. You know this river? Yeah. Makes me feel like uh, there was there was some movies that you, you usually see like very beautiful flowers and just the river is just flowing in between the mountains. Yeah. Man, that is the kind of feeling that I'm getting. So guys, it's time to go back because the owner has already started cooking. As you can see, that is a smoke. The owner of nature, the owner of nature has already started the cooking. And he's telling us, please go away. From my I, uh, compound. I only, want, I only have my enough food for myself. Please go home. Yes. Guys, let's go! So guys, you're about to leave. I want to take me a picture in this place. Yeah, this is So guys, uh... Kibe made some memory here. Why not Kibe? And guess what? <laughs> Only Mawira, final resort. Ah, and it's coming out so nicely, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> Engraving. Only <laughs> Mawira. <laughs> so unless unless they change this bridge. Unless they change this bridge. <laughs> this will remain forever. That name. It's gonna so, remain there. And guys, as you can see, they have started to become very, very chilly. Now it is time to utilize the cups. 
Now it's time for moving out, guys. So, see you when I'm gonna be ending the video, guys. That's so far so good. I even mean, eh? Nobody. Yeah. Uh, small bottle. Man, I feel like uh, like now I have started that like, uh, some light light liquid is coming through my nose right now. Yeah. <laughs> because of the coldness. You know, it's evening time, it's five actually. Five. Yeah, but this place has been amazing. So guys, check, let's uh, check, see each other when we're gonna be ending the challenge, man. Guys, as I'm walking down from the mount, from the from the main mountain, which is Mount Kenya, I found this spot which is very beautiful. Man, yeah, look at it. It lives, feels so nice and looks so beautiful. Very beautiful area, guys. Oh, feels nice. Looks so beautiful. And this view itself, it's viewing. The view is viewing, man. Look. Very beautiful. And look at those places, man. Wow. So, guys, uh, with our tour guide, we decided to, as we are walking down the mountain, you know, we decided to, to go down as we are collecting the plastics. So, so far we have collected, there are several of you, and this one I just collected it. You know, it's always good to leave a place better than we found it. And also, it's always good to, to take care of the environment. So, this is one of our activities that we are doing here, as we are walking down from the mountain. From Mount Kenya, as we're going back to where we came from, cleaning the environment is part of me now. <laughs> man, this place looks nice, man. The views, the views, look so beautiful. I just feel like recording everything, man. But you know, you can't keep on recording everything because the video is gonna be irrelevant. So you have to pick the best. But you see now. These things happen because of human activities. These are fires. And I uh, was like, this fire went on for about one week, you know. And then, how they were able to put it out is, uh, sometimes they use, they use the airplanes to put it out, but it's very difficult. And other times, maybe by good luck, the rain can come. Or other places, like other times, another way what they do is they clear. They, they, they create a cut line, you know. So the water, I mean the fire, won't cross over. So, we're going down. Kiba is there, Choge is there, Kate is there. <laughs> Everybody's really working hard, I'm telling you. So, at um, the moment, I'm off-road. I'm off-road. I'm going down. So, yeah. Let me now go back to my to main main road. So finally, but it's funny how that place is is has sun, and where we are, it's dark, like it's not it's not sunny. No, so we left this place at uh, at around. Uh, Kibe, what time did we leave here? Kibe, in the morning. It was around ten. We left here at 10. About the time right now? 5.45. So we've been on the transit, like we've been moving a lot. And uh, here there's some... Oh, it's water. There's some water leakage here. There's water leakage there. Imagine that water is coming direct from Mount Kenya. No? My mission still continues. So far, I've been able to collect a few plastics here and there. Oh, this place is mushy. <laughs> Keep it, this place is mushy. It has water, man. So, it's been an awesome day. So, after, at least I've been able to conserve the environment. This are. Buffalo droppings actually. These are not cow droppings, these are buffalo droppings. Hmm. Yeah, these are buffalo droppings. So that you may know like this place doesn't have cows. It's only buffaloes that went around. And uh 
We're heading back to the camp, to the camp, so that we can drop now and go home. So coming down, guys, was very easy. We spent like two, like an hour coming down. Less than an hour actually. But going up, hey, or something else. That's where we came from. <sighs> wow. Hey. You see where the ladies are? You know, Kibe, when you are when you are tired, and you walk slowly, you get more tired. Yes. So that way you can say, like, uh huh? We decided because they are with um, yeah, yeah. We see, we see two guys. Hmm. We we Let's go and eat in town. So guys, we are the last one standing here. <laughs> hey! Finally, guys, we made it. We made it back to the camp. Now the next thing is for us to drop home. And tomorrow we say goodbye to Nanyuki, guys. It has been awesome. It has been a beautiful experience around this place. Wow. This is water from Mount Kenya, actually. Very cold. So, as you see, the end of this, uh, this is the end of the, this segment. We're gonna be seeing you and uh, we're we'll the video, guys. Uh, yes, guys, and we are back to where we started our safari or our journey. Safari means journey, and it has been an exciting, 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 exciting moment of my life. To mark the end of my Narumoro Nanyuki tour, it was very very exciting and I hope like you too you enjoyed the video from the beginning to this spot where we are now, yeah, because it has, I have enjoyed, totally have enjoyed the video, like the day, I hope you too are going to enjoy the video and feel like you are with me here for, for this day. It has been the best experience and I'll never forget about this place, Mount Kenya, uh, Kenya Wildlife Service, Mount Kenya National Park. Mount Kenya World Heritage Area, Ceremon Gate. This place has been awesome, awesome to me. And uh, man, it has been a blessing. Thanks to Mr. Bernard. Thank you so much for being a good, good tour guide. Man, we appreciate. Maybe maybe in case someone would love to, to come over to have an experience, maybe you can give them your number. And you start from plus 254, then you give out the number. Okay, thank you. This, this is my number. I'm Bernard. I'm a guide based at Ceremon. Mm -hmm. uh, my number are as follows plus two five four seven zero four seven four eight mm -hmm. zero two zero. All right. Thank you. Guys, you can reach it. The number is available on WhatsApp. Yeah, available on WhatsApp. In case you are here in Kenya or in case you're going to be coming to Kenya, reach out to him via direct call, WhatsApp call, text him. He has been amazing, amazing, amazing. He has taken care of our ladies. Even when we left with Kibe, we, we knew like the ladies are super, super safe. He was nice. He has taken us the best pictures, man. Thank you so much and thank we appreciate it. Thank you. Too. Yeah, guys. Have a good journey. Uh, thank you so much. You are welcome. Again. All right, guys. So this is where I'm going to end the video and say, man, thank you guys for watching the video. Thank you for supporting us. Thank you for supporting me. And before I end the video, let me show you a significant of Buffalo, <laughs> Buffalo soldier, na 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 to America. Oh yeah 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 oh, yeah yeah yeah. Okay guys. All right guys. So see you, see you, see you on the next video, guys. Thank you for the love. Until next time. Hey, and some pictures that I posted on his Instagram that I took there on Instagram. Go there, please. Check them out. Follow me on Instagram as only Mawira. And <laughs> Ooh, guys, I'm very excited. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm extra, extra excited. And guys, so from this point, I wanna say a big, 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 big goodbye.